Himalayas won't disappear, you know. <laughs> I've walked this simple mountain path since I was just a boy. And every time that I return, it brings me so much joy. The beautiful mountains move me to my soul. And sharing that joy with you means more than you could know. We stand here in this land where our fathers stood before. Our Himalayan homeland will stand forevermore. May the Himalayas guide you and remind you to be strong when you sing this song. Let the majesty of nature guide you. May the strength of the mountains be behind you. May you always know your place in life wherever you may roam. For the Himalayan mountainside will always be your home. Surya, be strong, just like the beautiful Himalayan mountains. Yes, Father, just like the Himalayas. Someone's just playing a joke or something. Who do you think would play a joke on us like that? Um, well, if you ask me, I don't think that letter is a joke at all. <sighs> Dinner's all ready. Here you go. Thanks, Mother. Tell me about the path of the birds. <laughs> My, what makes you ask that? Just wondered. Well, there's a path the birds follow when they're flying that's invisible to us. Even the birds that fly over the Himalayas? <clears throat> yes, all the birds. But they're not the only ones, Surya. There's a true path that we should also follow in our lives as good human beings, you know. There's a path for human beings, too? That's right. You know what your father always says. He tells you to never give up and to be strong in life. So you'll grow up to be a strong young man, you see? Dear Mom and Dad, I have to go. Someone is asking for my help. But please, don't worry. I'll be fine. You want me to go inside? Oh, 
there, sir. Can you tell me the name of this place? By any chance, would you know if there's anyone here who's in need of help? Sir? <gasps> ah! Someone is in need of help here, and I'm gonna find him. I can't give up! All the people here seem so sad. I wonder what they're wearing on their necks. Excuse me! Can you tell me the name of this place? Yes, we call it the Kingdom of Light. The Kingdom of Light? But it's so dark here. I don't see any light. You're a stranger. It's none of your business. <laughs> Wait a minute! You don't understand! I'm looking for someone who's in need of help! Hey, you! Uh, what? what are you doing here? Uh, uh, Who do you think you are? What do you want? What are you talking about? I haven't done anything wrong! Uh, let Be me go! quiet! Uh, Come on! Uh, 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 wait a minute! What are you doing? He's a guest of ours! The boy's right, so let him go. Dr. Singa! Uh, Come on! Uh, <laughs> uh, Wow, that was close. They're the soldiers of our kingdom. They're always bullying someone. I'm Chandra. Hi, I'm Surya. Well, Surya, don't you worry. You're in good hands now. Try as they might, even the king's soldiers can't disobey the likes of me. <laughs> A suspicious boy, huh? Yes, sir. What would you like us to do? Just leave him alone. What harm can a child do? So, you see, Surya? My father is a meteorologist for the kingdom. That's why he's respected by everyone here. And when I grow up, I want to be a meteorologist just like my dad. <laughs> I'm curious to know what it was exactly that brought you here to our kingdom, Surya. Well, you see, I come from a country called Nepal, and it's way on the other side of the Himalayas. Nepal? Mm-hmm. And I know that it may sound crazy, but I magically flew here after finding a letter asking for help that was tied to the leg of a crane. I just wanted to help whoever was in need and felt like I had to come here. How great! Is it all right if I help too? That's very kind of you. The people of our kingdom used to be caring and eager to help each other in times of need, but not anymore, I'm afraid. Things have changed considerably since then. Mm-hmm. Surya, we would both like to help you. You can stay with us from now on. All right! I can? Thank you! Oh. Oh. Um, I hope you don't mind me asking, but why does everyone wear those golden collars around their necks everywhere they go here? Well, you see... During the autumn last year, the good king, whom we all loved and respected, suddenly died. The king had always cared very much about the welfare and happiness of his people. He was a good-hearted king. The princess was so grief-stricken that soon after his passing, she began to fall ill. Then the people of the kingdom decided to wear these special collars designed to keep their heads bowed down as an expression of sorrow for losing such a wonderful king. Now I understand. I bow my head when I'm sad, especially when I get bullied. Sometimes I put my head down when I cry. But we shouldn't always be sad. I don't think it's fair to force people to keep their heads down. Especially by wearing some kind of golden collar like that. It just doesn't seem natural. That doesn't seem like true sorrow to me. I think you're right. I don't like it either. Not true sorrow. Our kingdom has an old saying that goes like this. Let me see if I remember it correctly. Truth makes the sun shine, and lies only bring darkness. And ever since our people began wearing the collars, the light disappeared. Gosh, that's a pretty sad saying. But maybe it was your whole kingdom that was crying for help. Look at that! The sun is shining on us! As 
I stand before you, there's something I must say. The sun has never shined on a more perfect day. The clouds float aside as the cranes fly high, leading to my country where the mountains meet the sky. Find the courage in your heart to make a brand new start. Let the mountains lead the way, and life will be bright every day. Let's join together. made me feel happy. It's so warm Isn't now. Isn't it wonderful? Amazing. I wonder how the princess is doing. Her sweet smile always made us feel so happy. I remember one time when she cared for a wounded crane and treated it with such kindness. The princess has a very kind heart, doesn't she? Yes, I remember. She was so concerned about that crane. A crane? Are you positive that she cared for a crane? Yes, is there something wrong with that? You said the letter you found asking for help was tied to a crane. Surya traveled here to our country to find whoever wrote this letter asking for help. We knew the princess was ill, but we were told that the best doctors in the land were taking care of her, so we stopped worrying about her. You what? But she's your princess! Who told you that she wasn't well? The minister did. That arrogant old minister doll did! And he also made us wear these. He wanted to keep us wearing them in honor of the late king. What if it's all made up? It could be a lie! We don't need these! <laughs> when the rays of truth shine, we're no longer deceived by the lies of darkness. No more lies! I'm taking mine off, too! Yeah! I agree! <laughs> it's been a long time! I feel great! I'm taking it off, too! What? So that kid is telling everyone that I lied about the princess's illness? How dare that kid! It's time to silence him once and for all. Listen, it's all a lie. Your princess is not ill. Everyone, remove your collars and lift your heads up. The sun will shine down on you again in the kingdom of light. There's not a moment to lose. We can save your beloved princess together. Huh? I'll get you! Julia, watch out! <laughs> Dr. Singa. Oh, wow, Dad. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. I'm stronger than you think. Now everyone knows we were right. Thanks. Just because a couple of clumsy bad guys tried to threaten us, that's no reason to give up. It'll take more than that to stop us. <sighs> Over here, in the town square! Ow! Take it easy! Okay, the princess is a deal. Ow! She's locked up on the Tower of Ice. Minister Dahl and General Gammon did it! I knew it. They were lying to us. There are guards at the entrance. something? Huh? No. All I can think about is how cold it is tonight.
Surya, remember our song. Sharing that joy with you means more than you could know. We stand here in this land where our fathers stood before. Our Himalayan homeland will stand forevermore. May the Himalayas guide you and remind you to be strong when you sing this song. Let the majesty of nature guide you. May the strength of the mountains be behind you. May you always know your place in life wherever you may roam. For the Himalayan mountains are will always be Oh, your Father! Ah, hey, Surya, you woke up! It's all right. You'll be fine now. Yes. Tomorrow will be a sunny day. Father, watch over me. I will be brave. Don't be so stubborn. Be a good girl and do as you're told. Yes, that's right. If you obey us and do as you are told, then we will release you from this tower. I will most certainly not obey you. First you betrayed my father's trust, and then you deceived the people of our kingdom. Why do you insist on being so stubborn? Achoo! Ugh, this place is freezing. They're here again. This is an illegal rebellion against the late king and the ailing princess. Uh, uh, Now's our chance. Let's go. Minister Go! We know the princess is not really ill. Everyone knows you're right. What are you talking about, General Gammon? Everybody. 
everybody. Run to the bridge. Go, Been defeated. The sunshine's here to stay. No more darkness. Welcome, Welcome back, sunshine. Thank you. country called Nepal on the other side of the Himalayas. Oh, my letter. I remember that day when a beautiful crane flew up to the terrace of my tower. I tied my letter to its leg. But all I was able to write in the note at the time was the word help. And yet, you still came to my rescue. Thank you, Surya. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Actually, Princess, I think that I'm the one who should thank you. You see, I have always wanted to be strong. Just like the Himalayas. I think that coming to your kingdom of light has made me stronger and a little braver, too. Then we must thank the Himalayas for bringing you here. The Himalayas have always protected our kingdom of light. The Himalayas never gave up on our people. Never, even during our darkest times and days. My father, the late king, worked very hard for his people. He wanted nothing more than for his people to be happy and to prosper. He used to gaze in awe at the Himalayas, making his resolve. Let us honor his memory by making this kingdom the happiest kingdom ever known to man. Together with the Himalayas, let us live with honor and courage. <laughs> See ya, let's dance. Okay. <laughs> As I stand before you, there's something I must say. The sun has never shined on a more perfect day. Join together. 